So here we are on your pers uh, personal page. This is my page, but I'm going to talk about some of the features on this page and how to how to change things around um, and how to interact with it. This basically is kind of like a personal blog. So you know, if you want to put personal things, like maybe you're working on a um, your weight, or maybe you're working on um, a student project or something like that, and you don't really want it to be in the groups, you can put that kind of stuff on this and um, it becomes like your personal blog. So the first thing we're going to look at is you can change your photo or your theme. Um, to change your photo, you would just click on my photo. Um, click on the photo. You would upload a new one. Browse for it on your computer. Select the one that you want and then hit done and now you should have, once you save it at the bottom, you should now have the new um, photo. So I'm going to go back to my page, check to make sure, and you can see my photo has been updated. Now I can also change my theme. Once I click on theme, um, there are a whole bunch of choices you can choose from. Um, now, of course, you can also go through and make it unique with c colors and whatnot. I just don't have the time to do that, and I, I'm, I, it's not something that I, I care for, but you definitely can do that. You can search through, find the one that you want, change it up to fit your style. Once you select your appearance, it'll say save, and once you save it, you're, you're good to go. The other thing you can do here is that um, CTs, other CTs can email you directly. Um, and this is your inbox, so once you have uh, mail, you can click on your inbox and that will show you any mail that you've got from other, other CTs. Um, here's an opportunity to add profile apps. Uh, profile apps are similar to widgets. Um, I don't if any of you are familiar with um, customizing your iGoogle page it's the same thing so you might check on you know look to see what there is some of its fun some of its news um, Twitter tracker um, I have Twitter my own Twitter so I may add Twitter tr tracker to it so it will ask you to add it so now that I have Twitter tracker what I would do is then I would go in and I would actually um, do my settings and put in my information and then it will actually follow my twi my um, my Twitter account and what's coming into that. You can also uh, post blogs here or blog posts so you know um, if you this is where if you may had something going on like maybe you're doing a student activity or something with your students and you might want to you know uh, blog about it student projects um, my students went to the wastewater treatment facility and toured and you can upload pictures and links to um, and then you can put in tags that helps your uh, audience find it. You can choose a time to post it if you wanted to. You can also uh, either have everyone see it, just your friends or just yourself. And then you can also moderate the comments. So publish the post. You can preview it if you want to. Publish it. Now once they go onto your blog, they'll see that. It'll also keep track of discussions that you start and then also events that you start and groups that you're a part of. You can also um, um, you can also edit these um, different uh, fields. This one down here, it's like a comment wall, kind of like Facebook, where when people get on, um, they can post to your, your page directly. And then it's it's just like Facebook, so you can have that whole thing going on. You can also RSS feed to this page so that when someone adds something, it'll email it to you right away. 
and then your events are there also. So that's just a little bit about how you can customize your personal page. Um, there's a lot more and you can find more help on the internet or on Ning itself. Um, or you can ask Jen and I and we will be happy to help you.